We are the world's worst pot plant growers. Mostly because we just simply forget to water it. This one is still alive against all odds. And it sure does look poor though. Might need to fertilize it or something. Oh, you fertilized it? Monday. Monday? Well, maybe it'll perk up here a little bit. This is some stuff. I, well, some of it's stuff that I grew by seed that I had left over. I got a beef lying around me. This is Brussels sprouts. This is some kind of pepper. I'm not real sure. This is actually a transplant uh, off a of cutting a rooting. Uh, that's rosemary. Bring you around here. Say hi. Hi. stinks mm -hmm. uh i got some tomato cuttings in here i'm gonna see if they'll root i don't know if they will or not i got some more rosemary cuttings i need to give to my daughter that's a spearmint my daughter got and we never planted that's brussels sprout that's the difference in size see the difference in size from that i don't know if you can tell the difference on camera but this is a little bit bigger because i transplanted it into a bigger pot which it takes like 90 to 100 days for them from a seed to being able to eat the vegetables off of it, the Brussels sprouts off of it. But we're going to see. I don't know. We'll see if they'll uh, give us anything this year. Might be toward the fall, but that'll be all right. Well, it's July. July what? Eighth. Eighth already? It's like a billion degrees, which is not too bad because it's overcast today, but the humidity, they said on the radio that it was like, I don't know, index of 100 degrees or something like that. <laughs> but as in all, when it gets summertime, this is what happens to your garden. The weeds take it over. The reason the weeds take it over is because the plants get so big you can't get in there to weed them too good with the tiller and I'm too lazy to pull it by hand uh, but what I'm gonna do I got some okra planting and I've been watching this guy on YouTube called David the good the survivalist garden gardener or something like that anyway uh, I like him he's uh, been in Florida and the Caribbean, I think, and I think he's in Alabama maybe now. I, I'm not sure where he's at now. But what he does with his, oh, he don't have a yard. He just basically plants his whole yard in trees and bushes and all kind of stuff. I'm not doing that. I like to have a yard. But what he does is he uses everything that he has as compost or as nutrition for his plants. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. <clears throat> if you, you might have to get the camera and show down here. <clears throat> See how, how all these weeds have grown up? I've already done this one. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and just kind of loosen these weeds up around it because they're competing with my okra for all the nutrients and we don't want them competing we want the okra to get everything but i gotta be careful because i don't want to i don't want to dig up my okra plants i don't have very many I just wanted a few. and so what i do is i'm just going to come around here and kind of loosen these weeds up like that <laughs> And then I'll come right here. I'll just pick them up. And these weeds like this, I'm just going to throw them. I got some newspaper, corn husks, the squash. I just took my machete and cut it down. Uh, so I'm just going to throw these right on top and let them die. Now these things here, I don't know what they're called. 
Can you see those? We used to call them coffee weeds or something. Coffee weed? I think. If you'll notice on the back side of them, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. On the back side, they got little, little bitty seeds or something. So if you just pull them up and throw them down, they're going to grow a billion more. I just take them and throw them out the, out the garden completely. It, it helps a little bit. You're just never going to get rid of all of them. So basically what I'm doing, I'm just going to try and pull some of these weeds up. I've loosened them up. Uh, did I mention it was a billion degrees during the middle of the day? But me and mom has been grandparenting today, so we got kind of a late start. And it's all right. It's okay. It's not going anywhere. These weeds will be here tomorrow if I don't get to them today. And I just throw these weeds off to the side. Got quite a few around this one. Shake the dirt off. Hang on to your seats. I know this is exciting. Anyway, you get most of them best you can. And do a little bit here, a little bit there. And it, you kind of can stay on top of it. Earlier in the year, I was able to stay on it a little bit better. But as time went on. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some of these corn husks. I'm going to put it right at the base. When these rot down, it'll give some food to these okra. And it'll feed them. I don't know what it'll feed them, but it'll feed them something. You're brave putting your hands in that. Why is that? Spiders. Huh? Do what? Whatever critters get in there. Yeah, uh, it'd be all right. It's just critters. Ah! No, it's gone. Just throw some, some of these down. They'll rot. Maybe feed the plants that you want. This one looks kind of poorly. But uh, I've got a couple more i got to do. But you don't want to sit there and watch me do that. I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera. Then we'll look at something else. I didn't even check them on that second row. Right in here. Uh, <clears throat> this is my pole beans. I knew about pulled them up the other day. In fact, I started to bring it around here. I started pulling them up right here in between these posts. And then I got to looking. There's still a good bit of blooms on these. And got some little little peas coming on. That ain't no good. But, uh... Well, you got several through there. Yeah, I got several little ones coming through. I, I picked a gallon bag yesterday. So I'm going to leave them just a little bit longer. You see right there here? Them pretty much over with right through there. On that second row right through there. Pretty much over with. But they got a few over there. So I'm going to leave them. See if I can't get another picking out of them. This is our lantana. And as you can see, there is no flowers on the lantana. In fact, it's looking pretty poorly. I'm not real sure what caused it. I don't know if we've just gotten too much water or what. But, I mean, they've done this last year. And when they come out this year, they come out good and pretty for a while. And now they back like this. If you got any ideas, let us know. Where'd that little puppy go? Anybody want a puppy? Yeah, my daughter brought that. It was in the road about to get run over somewhere and she, so she picked it up and she brought it to my house my house and of course guess he stuck with it we're trying to get a home for it though 
because we don't need any more dogs. If you want your roses to keep putting on roses, you gotta do what's called deadheading them. And it's been a few days since we've deadheaded and got a lot of dead ones on there. So Belinda's just going through and snipping them off. And then we got some marigolds as well. You want your marigolds to keep producing and putting on blooms, you got to deadhead them. And we're using scissors to do it because it's easy for one. But if you've ever pinched off marigolds, they stink. I don't like the smell of them. And the roses has thorns. This is our wildflower bed. Sunflowers, zinnias, I don't know what all kind of flowers in there. This is our herb bed, that's just uh, peppermint of some sort, spearmint, I don't you know, know what it is. Huh? You know yes, yeah, the butterflies and even hummingbirds have been real good about getting in our garden and our flowers. Got some sage and some thyme, did I say dill? A bunch of rosemary, got strawberry in that and that Linda decided she didn't want that in there anyway I don't know what it is but it ain't there no more is it mama probably a save the ones that um, do what like there's one that's oh the zinnias yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna cut some of them off and put them in bags and uh, we'll cut some of these zinnias when they die back and save them for next year. I don't know if you can see too good. Let's see if I can zoom it in. I'll go get a bowl. We still got a few blueberries on there. We're going to go ahead and pick these. Got some on this bush. Them two bushes over there have pretty much quit. Uh, we're gonna pick these and then we're gonna get out of here go do something I don't know what we're gonna we may just go inside and do nothing all right hey thanks for joining us today we just want to do something besides cannon I got my beta cannon for the last several days so thank you for joining us like subscribe share do all that kind of good stuff and thank you so much love y'all God bless we'll talk to you later